You know what time it is, guys. Chapter three of our truck build. Let's go ahead and get into this. All right, well, here we go. Here is a little update in regards to our flatbed build that we've been doing. This is our budget build, so things are coming in kind of slowly and we're doing things as, as we get them coming in. Um, next step is going to a welder to get a couple things done for our signs. Um, but here is basically the meat and potatoes of the build itself. So here we have our gas tank. This feeds our eight gallon a minute pressure washer on the other side. We have our 250 gallon tank here. We have our 65 gallon chem tank here. It's all plumbed up, ready to go. So uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Here is our DIY proportioner valves. Um, so we have a actual proportioner on our big truck, but wanted, again, to do a budget build for this truck so you guys could see that it can be done other ways. We love our proportioner, um, but this right here just worked for us in regards to the budget that we had for this truck. Um, so we have here, you can see our soap line. This is our bleach line. This is our water line. We have our three-way ball valve here so we can flush our lines. Um, here is our X-Jet slash um, SH ball valve so we can go ahead and get uh, get SH to the bucket when we never, whenever we want to run our X-Jet. Um, which is what we usually do anyways. Um, we cut this cut out here of this aluminum instead of doing a stack over here and putting it up against the uh, the tank or something, um, just because this area was already gonna be kind of taken up anyways by the ball valve coming through here. So we wanted to kind of protect that, but also be able to have this be a functional space. Um, so that way it made it cheaper and it also um, actually came out looking pretty decent for what it is. Um, so here we go. Um, this is gonna go ahead and lead into our 12 volt system. So our 12 volts already hooked up here. Um, and this leads us to our reel back there. Um, so we're in the process of getting the other 12 volt system in place for our DI system. Um, so as of right now, I'll just open this up. It's kind of a jumbled mess for you guys, but that way you can at least see what we're working with here. Um, so here's our 12 volt for our SH, or should I say for just our chemical and our, uh, our proportioner system in general, and here is our 12 volt system for the DI system. Um, so that's gonna run directly through here and, and go all the way to the, uh, the DI tank that's on the other side of the truck. Here is our battery mounted box right here that's going to go ahead and power both of these. Um, next week we'll be having the installer come in and install everything we need for this to be charged while driving um, and get that all done there. Um, here are our fills from our reels. Um, this is our primary fill right here, all one inch, um, or should I say, yeah, it's, it's one inch and then it goes into three quarter for, for the hose itself. Um, but then here is our secondary oil and what we're gonna end up doing here is doing a backup um, a DI feed. Um, and the reason I'm, we're doing that is just in case the 12 volt goes out in the middle of it, we don't wanna be kind of, you know, put out in the woods because we were not able to use our 12 volt system to clean windows so we wanted to make sure that we had a fallback system so here we're going to have a three-way ball valve it's going to lead and actually force feed the di tanks um, just in case or if they have enough flow we can just kind of bypass and just use that way instead of using the 12 volt um, but that way there's at least a backup for our 12 volt system for the windows because um, that would be a pain in the butt considering everything's going to be on our truck and we don't really want to have to haul things around so here we go as you can see here here are our two feed reels um, we have 100 feet uh, off to the side here that we're going to put back on this cox reel we're doing some testing with it for the di system um, but here are titan reels pressure chemical we'll be adding another 100 or 200 feet of hose to this um, just to make sure that we are good to go out in the field here we have about 225 feet of chemical hose um, so that is more than enough for us and uh, and our experience has been great um, back there you can see our soap tank and there we definitely have uh, already we have some soap um, so that way uh, we're ready to go it's also got some scent masker in there so it smells nice and appley then on this side we finally have our Pressure washer actually bolted down and ready to go here. We've used some composite here just to kind of absorb the uh, the vibrations going into it along with some rubber. Uh, but we use composite mainly for the reason that it's composite material, it won't rot out and it lasts a lot longer and we've had it lying around. Again, budget build is the name of this. Um, and that's why we wanted to go ahead and use whatever we could and whatever we had to make it work. 
So here we go, and uh, this is where our DI system is going to be in this corner system, or should I say in this corner. Um, the system itself is going to be ran and plumbed from here, and it's going to go to the actual 12 volt, but it's also going to have another hose running here so we can qu quick disconnect and force feed it directly from the feeding hose reel, um, which you'll be able to see all that the next video whenever we're done. Um, it'll just be a, a complete overview so you can see the finished product. And here we have our one and a half inch line coming out of our actual water tank. And here is our one inch uh, ball valve that uh, it's our dump valve basically. So that way if we need to wash our hands, we need to dump the tank before we drive anywhere. Um, it's all good to go plumbed up. And as you can see here, we use uh, what we like to call the blue goop. That blue goop is a lifesaver, so, so worth it. So if you're in the middle of doing any PVC or anything like that, we highly recommend that because that thing holds like a beast. Um, it's definitely it's definitely great. There's a reason why you know some of the top names in the in the industry use it. It's because it really 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 works very very well. Um, as you can see up there, we have all of our items plumbed for our uh, proportioning system. So here's our bleach one. Um, this right here just runs directly to the proportioner. So there's a a feed tube that goes all the way down, just like up there. So we have our water suction for not only the, the proportioner for the actual water valve, but we have a water suction for the valve, for the three-way ball valve that will actually flush the system. Up the top, you see that ag, yellow ag hose. Um, that right there is our bypass hose. As you can see, those big blue ones over here, um, those are our fill lines, so that way we put those off to the side, so that way when it's filling, it's not creating any kind of bubbles or anything, so when the proportion is working, it's not sucking up any air. All right, guys, we'll hope you enjoyed this little video here. If you guys have any questions, concerns, anything in regards to what we're using or how we're building this out, leave a comment. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and uh, get ready for that next video.